Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hearthstone um, constructed game. Out of everything, I created a constructed decks. I play different constructed decks every single day, whatever I feel like. But I choose not to play the most popular deck, such as Miracle or Hunter, so I just don't. I like to build one day. Uh, this is a deck I mean climbing in. It's, I got inspired by the double C giant from Wreckful and built this. Um, basically building off Nurgan Egg, um, Sylvanas, just for obvious counters to Savannah High Main, etc. Um, so, that, that was a theory crafting that I just did not want to pose. I have something called a Stupid Adin. It's a mid-range paladin that can, that can win every single matchup as long as you get the right draws, such as, um, Divine Favor to counter Unleash the Hound, Buzzard Combo, etc. Here's Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones is a old-fashioned token druid that can go off and just destroy your opponent with Murlocs. Murgles. Yes, Murgle. I have no idea why it works, but it works on ladder. I created this deck just as a recording before. Probably going to delete it um, and build another deck because I like to build things from scratch. Probably going to build the exact same one from scratch using the same thought process, but I might make it better. Ch changes. I like to play a different deck every time I play ladder. This is the Tori number one season four Miracle Rogue deck. And we're going to build a Ramp Druid deck. Probably going to go through the same thought process of double innovate. You always need that for Ramp Druid. You need double wild growth. You also need double wrath. I like to run one Mark of the Wild. Healing touch is debatable. I could probably swap it out for Mark of the Wild. Later on, I like to run at least one Savage Roar combo. Um, Keeper to grow. These are necessities. Nourish. I like to run Nourish because I want to play some big game legendaries. I don't know about Starfall. I played Starfall in um, the other deck and it was cluttering my hand before. So I like to run only one Ancient of War. Um, uh, Scenarius is very debatable, but I'm going to run it instead of, um, what was that card? Starfall this time. Starfall is basically to control zoo-ish decks, but there is like barely any zoo. I like to run Yeti um, in this meta, but uh, this could change. Sludge Belcher. No, this is better. This is better. Everything is better. Um, so I want to go to the big game legendaries. My DK doesn't work. Um, if I want to run Kel'Thuzad and Ragnaros together, I can only play these two. I want to play Ysera just to counter Priest because Druid is wrecked by Priest. And I'll call this Ramparish again. Um, I like to run BGH because I have the Mark of the Wild. And you always have to run Harvest Golem, kind of, in Ramp Druid. I like to run Zombie Chow because it's really good in control decks and it's been proven to be really good um, by Dog and all the other famous live streamers. Alright, so turn one Zombie Chow, turn two Wild Growth, turn three Harvest Storm, turn four Yeti. Um, and if I get Wild Growth, I'll be able to play Yeti on turn three and to Drew the Claw. I have a feeling another um, Nourish is replacing the Sledge Belcher that I would have there. Kelvazad early. I don't know if my I'm too late game heavy. My curve. I need a six drop, right? It's a good six drop. Karn. Oh, I should run Sylvanas. Or Black Knight. No, Sylvanas is better. But I feel like I should run an Argus then. To run an Argus, I need to run a Celestial Knight. And then I need to cut one legendary, which is Scenarius. Man. That sucks. I'll play this deck. This is a different flavor, but I call it Ramperish. I was about to win that game too. I was playing a shaman. Um, so whenever I play constructed, I don't like to play the popular decks like Hunter and Miracle Rogue. I already said that, I think. And I like to build innovative decks that are completely different because when you go on ladder, People always expect that you're net decking. You have something the same of. But if you change your deck just a little bit, they don't know what to expect. And you have those little tiny cards that throw them off. So, if the meta was Miracle Rogue, I would be playing one Senjin, one Sludge Belcher, instead of uh, two Yetis. And instead of Nurse, I'd probably be playing a Spectral Knight. 
I, I, the decks always change. That's how you become better. I didn't, pl I didn't get Legend this season yet because I've been in Florida and doing some vacationing. Typical. I want to play the Perky. Oh wait, Priest can be countered by Ysera. I have to keep Ysera in this deck. Damn. Okay. The light shall bring victory. Bow more. Yeti's really good against Priest. I kind of want to keep Yeti. I kind of want to keep Lore too. I feel like I should keep the Swipe. I feel like Lore. Turn one Zombie Chow. Turn. Unless he has. Unless he's Death Rattle Priest. That'd be really annoying. Lore might be a bit too slow. I want to keep the Yeti. I'll keep the Yeti just so I have something to play. Because I don't want to have a dead hand full of Ysera, Kelvazod, which I'm and Ragulant. Zombie Chow. That's a good one drop. I don't have Wild Growth. I'm hoping to draw onto Wild Growth. If I don't draw onto Wild Growth, I have this uh, Ping of Space. Plays North Star Cleric. I'll still play Zombie Chow. He's probably going to hit the North Star Cleric and then heal again. And then I'll use my hero ability next turn along. Ooh. What a prediction. Ragnaros in the control here. I'm hoping for Wild Growth next turn or a Nourish soon. If I get Nourish, I'm, it's debatable whether to coin Yeti. Okay, so now that's a curve for turn three. I'm probably going to be pointing out the Yeti. If he plays, um, what's that card called? What's that card called? Dark Cultist. I could debate playing Keeper of the Grove. I just play Sparkle. Okay. I could force him to heal this. But against control, you want to play a turn one North Star Cleric, so I don't think he has North Star Cleric. He had two draws to get it. Um, do I kill this? I'm just gonna hero build it. Because I don't want him to get value out of healing it up or pawning. Because if he runs one Earthen Ring Forest here, he most likely runs two. So if he hits, he'll play Earthen Forest here. I have two things to deal with. I'll play Yeti this turn. Actually, debatable. I don't want. I want to save my coin for Ancient of Lore. Um, I might run Druid the Claw as a Charger. Turn five. Oh, I should run Lothed in this deck. Um, he's Wait, playing very passive. Um, that's very scary. And I'll play Alkanai Circle Combo around Circle Alkanai because right now he could play Alkanai Circle, and if I put in Charge, he just heals with his hero ability. I have no and then time for dead. games. Um, right now I'm going to silence that. Silence painting. Question is, do I want to play around Alkanai Circle? That's sacrificing the Yeti. If I mark, fine. Okay. I want to play around Alkanai Circle, but I want to keep the Yeti alive. I'm going to bring myself um, closer to getting him into lethal range. I'm going to play Ragnaros. Um, Ragnaros sets up the kill. Actually, that's debatable. Um, so right now I'm going to play Ragnaros. If he plays Alkanai Circle, I could just swipe his face. And char no. Okay, so he needs to choose. His he needs to have the shadow of death in his hand. Most priests just want run one because of hunters nowadays. Um, but he's running Earthen Forest here, so he might be running a Maz's Maz's deck. He heals himself. He has three um, mana, and I have lethal if that's all he has. Go play. Where shall I? The light Where shall burn. Did he get? Okay, that's how you beat Priest. That's what Rag does. Kelfazod. If, if it was Hunter, Kelfazod would have been amazing. So that's why I'll play um, Kelfazod in this deck over uh, cutting something. What would I play instead of Kelfazod? I would probably play Black Knight or Sylvanas. But Kelfazod is just amazing. It just 
it can be a, a, a win. It's a win more card, basically. So, this new deck, eh, it, it's very fat. Let me say that. My Shaman deck will be able to beat. Might will have a lot of trouble beating this uh, this Druid because it runs Yeti. Oh, we're playing the same dude. He passed his uh, his hand because he didn't draw into his combos. I want to keep Harvest Golem. I kind of don't. I have Innervate. Um, the question is, will I Innervate the Harvest Golem? What does he run? I know he runs Earthing and Farseer. I could Innervate the uh, Harvest Golem, but he he doesn't seem to have a very reactive hand at the beginning. Actually, he actually only has reactive cards, it seems like. So right now, I'll play Wild Growth. Um, I'm going to get Ysir out as fast as possible. The ideal card to draw next turn is uh, Wild Growth, because I'll, I'll play Harvest Golem, play the Wild Growth, turn um, 5 Ysir, and you can't do anything about it because he's a priest. That's Kel'Thuzad. It's amazing. I want to get Kel'Thuzad out. Um, if he plays Earth Rain Forest here on himself again, I'll just kill it. And that's Tippic. Um, what turn four play can he have? I don't know. Tazingo. Tazingo. Okay. He's going serious mode, boys. Okay. We get the ancient lore. That is way better than anything. Um, what I'm looking for is a wrath. I'm not gonna run uh, Golem in because he can steal it out. Nature will rise against you. Okay. So next turn I'm gonna nourish for mana crystals. And then I'll get um what is that? Coward shield. And he's gonna hit the golem. Okay, I could ramp up a lot. I don't even need to uh, get rid of that. This is basically the game right now. 10 mana. He has 5 mana, 10 mana. This is so balanced! Okay, I also have force uh, combo. Holy crap. Um, do I want to clear this? I kind of want to clear this. I need to save... BGH. I use combo. On his own minion. I misclicked. I didn't mean to use combo there. I meant to play Ysera, but this might actually be better. <laughs> I need to save uh, Big Game Hunter for Thaddeus because I just gave him a condition. Blood Belcher. Um, Priest can't do anything about Ysera. Okay. Sarah awakens. Oh my god. So I'll be able to play um like Yeti and then you Sarah awakens. <laughs> if I get the Elthazada. My eyes are open. I'm gonna play you Sarah Awakens my now. For Argon. And he's gonna be taking a chance. Nature will rise against you. Oh. The light shall burn you. You know what? Oh my god, amazing! See, this is why I put Ysera in the deck. Because it beats priests. Oh my god, there's nothing that feels so sad. There's nothing more satisfying than a turn six Ysera on a priest. Or was it... And like, having ten mana as a druid. It's amazing. It just feels amazing. It's just like awesome. Oh my god, that felt amazing. <laughs> Huntard. Okay, this is where serious mode goes in. This is where I wish I had Lothar. I must protect the I wanna get rid of um war. I'm gonna play Zombie Chow turn one, Wild Growth turn two, hoping to get a Yeti or a uh, Keeper of the Grove. I'm gonna use Keeper of the Grove to silence the zomb the uh, mad scientist if he goes on playing that. Um, so, right now he can coin out a mad scientist, and I would be totally fine about it, because I'm just doing, doing a wild growth, and then he's probably going to, uh, Hunter's Mark. 
or whatever. If um he runs like freezing trap or explosive, he's gonna play uh that scientist here. And I'm gonna ignore it. Nope. Okay. He doesn't have innervate because he's not a cheating druid like me. I'm just gonna go face. If he runs haunted creeper, he most likely does not. Oh, he most likely runs death rattle. In this case, swipe is amazing. Web spinner, death rattle, and another death rattle. Yeah, that's predictable. I'm gonna swipe his face. Hit and then zombie chow. Swipe face. Da. Da. Da, da, dude. This is a massive board clear, but he still gets value out of the uh, web spinners. Basically, the web spinners trade themselves for cards. We got iron fur. Okay, I'm going to nourish for uh, mana crystals and hope I draw something good. Uh, right now, I have Ragnaros, so I'll be playing Ragnaros next turn. It's okay that he has that Grizzly on the board. Um, Ragnaros is a very strong card to have early against uh, Hunters. If it was uh, Kel'Thuzad, I would be regretting it. If it was Sylvanas, I'll be fine. Um, right now, he plays Animal Companion. This is most likely going to be Huffer. No, it's Liak. Okay. Because it's always Huffer. Okay. Right now, I'm going to Rag. Hope it hits Bia. If it doesn't, we're still fine because we could still... Uh, Unless he has Hunter's Mark, then we're sad. Hey, in his face, we're sad. But that's like a Fire Blast to face. Right now, he's going to Hunter's Mark the uh, the Rag. If not, he's going to freak out. Oh, Zeb, Kodo. And does he? Yeah, of course, of course. You can't, you can't leave that on the board. I want to cycle Wrath really bad, but I can't. Ancient of War is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna play Ancient of War. And the There's no merit to hitting the uh, Kodo. Unless I want to hit it twice, which I'll be taking a fireball to the face. Which means I'll be spending 8 mana on the Kodo, and that is not worth 5 mana. It's too much back on tempo, that is most likely a freezing trap. So I'm gonna be playing Force of Nature. And I'm going to be killing the Kodo. I could test if it's if it if he was bluffing and it's explosive. I'm going to be hitting Kodo anyway. So hit Kodo, the freezing trap. I'm going to cycle the wrath, and now I have a two-two charge um, to test for anything else. Now hit that. See if it's an innervate or any other crap. Okay, it's an innervate. Okay. I don't. I don't feel like um, innovating out my Keep of the Grove because I do not have Force um, Savage Roar. I mean, I could use the Treant for Savage Roar now. It's a nice little bit of damage. That's Secrets, and I'm going to be testing. I kind of want to kill the Mad Scientist. I'll, in fact, kill it, though. I will kill it. I'll swipe face, hit the scientist, test the trio. I'm not gonna play you, Sarah. I don't wanna get rid of these two This is gonna be a uh, freezing trap and explosive trap. Right? Pretty darn sweet. Value force of nature, right? Am I right? Did you forget? Am I playing a bot or something? This guy does not know what he's doing. This is amazing. Come on, dude. Honor's mark, kill command. Um, you're dead, dude. Kill command. See? One ancient of war is fine. Two is a bit overkill, because I'm not going full mass taunt druid. So, oh look, I, uh, I topped the lethal. Oh my god. Oh my god. BM well played. Okay. 
he's angry if he doesn't well played me. Or he's a bot. Because he played Freezing Trap again. When he knows um, the Treant was Freezing Trap. It's like a Bluegill Warrior. Hey, three Bluegill Warriors in a one card. It's amazing, right? See, this is how you play ladder. You build original decks, you catch people off guard, and then you murder them. I'll play um, till rank six, probably. You just have a bunch of stuff to upload. Shy. Shy T. Innovate's amazing. Wrath is not so amazing. We're going second, though. I don't know if I want to keep Wrath. It's debatable, but I have Innervate, so I want to wrap up. The Dream, but I don't know if I want to double Innervate the Nourish this turn. I kind of want to just use uh, one Innervate, and I'll probably draw a card. I'll use it to draw a card. Unless I draw, it's all about my next two draws. So that's a Harvest Storm. If I draw something like the Sarah or Ragnaros, then I will be using it for Mana Crystals. If not, I'll use it for uh, draw. Actually, secret. Okay, so that's most likely a Freezing Trap. Okay, we're using it for Mana Crystal. Ramping up. Mana crystal. Ah. Oh. Is that a snipe? Snake trap. Okay, so it's not misdirection. It's not explosive. It's not freezing. So it has to be a snake trap. Okay. I'm not dumb, dude. Watch me get my swipe now. Oh, wow. Innovate, more, draw two cards, and, the buzzard. and then watch him uh, use Houndmaster on this. He made it so blatantly obvious, that's uh, like the worst thing you could do. Only two cards, that's kind of bad value, in my opinion. I'm going to go face, because he knows he needs to attack. Because he knows I need to attack his stuff. I want to draw a swipe so bad. Right now, I'm going to wrath. Hit. What do I get? I get Keltazad. Okay. So, do I want to proc the snakes? Not really. They don't pose a threat to me. Most likely, they didn't really have the, uh, the second unleash. He had used one. He has two dogs. Um, I'll be playing Drew the Claw in taunt mode. It's it's very unlikely that he has uh, the combo. The second combo, in fact. If he does that, it's kind of kind of dumb, but that's life. He's going to play Haunted Creeper, and now I am like, praying to God for a swipe, 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 swipe. Ragnaros is also good. Um, you can down. His health total. Job done. I'm looking for swipe, and this is when the legendaries kind of hog my hand against a fast hunter start. If I draw Force of Nature, I win. If I draw Savage Roar, I win. Those are two win conditions. Yeah, I won't cast it. I don't have to. Or do I? Do I do? Do I kill a dog or do I go face? We're gonna go face. And we have another harvest bone. So he's gonna target my Kelpazod. 
he most likely doesn't have a hunter's mark because he would have used it already on my Drew the Claw. And he doesn't have budget combo. So he's gonna get rid of this the hard way. And hunter's mark. No, so he just stopped that shit. Like I said, he didn't have it. He heals that. And he's gonna kill one of the zombie chows because he's almost Return. dead. I see. Okay. Totally fine. It doesn't pose a threat at all to me, really. So, right now, I want to maximize my winning potential. So, even if this is a freezing trap, I win because it's explosive. And we beat the Hunter. Hey, this is for us too. I build a deck. And just... Ladder doesn't know what to do. Ragnaros. If he played... um, I would have put Ragnaros down there. And went for the 50-50 win. With, against Lotheb. Actually, it was a uh, 1 out of 3. But according to Maz, 2. 1 equals 2. So, yeah. We're going to play until we lose. Actually, no. I, want, I said rank 6, didn't I? Nah. But this deck... Is doing amazing.